Ryder. Not today, Nexus. Liam? God damn it. What's going on? Nothing to worry about. Just come grab a table with me. I'm not selling to aliens. Pathfinder, you're good here. We'll worry about the data another time. Liam, what's going on? I, uh, figured we should end up somewhere nice and open. You were being cased. Are you getting me in trouble? What was this about? We're not in trouble exactly, but I don't blame them for being angry. I wanted to get data that would help yields at our outposts. Moran told me what to scan, but I called it off. I still owe her, but it's better than pissing off some gouging hardliner. Sorry I didn't clue you in. It's a security thing. Food is security. Liam, I deserve better than having this sprung on me mid-market. You're right. Of course, you're right. And the Angara are right, too. The last people who showed up out of the blue were the Ket. The ultimate users. I don't want us getting lumped in with them. And I really, really don't want to ruin the market. Street food and shooting the shit with you? Feels normal. About time something did. We may have to stick to ourselves for a while, if that's what both sides seem to want. It isn't. Saw it all the time during crisis deployments. Us versus them turns into food versus no food. We have to figure this shit out, or both sides will hurt. Unripened fruit. Take advantage of a rare surplus. Arbiter Renav told me to expect you. I prepared a data pad detailing our laws. Read it fully. Pathfinder, I'm Enro Bosan, assistant to the governor. As you can imagine, your arrival raised concerns from highest people. I thought I'd proven they have nothing to worry about. You are one person. They want the Nexus to hear our voices. We've set up terminals in the city so people can leave messages for your people on the Nexus. I'd appreciate if you'd take a look and forward their communications to your people. The Moshai will be waiting for you at the vault. While I'm here, maybe we can talk? Of course. I owe you that. When I first escorted you through our city, I wasn't sure it was the right thing. But you proved I was wrong to doubt. No, more than that. What was done to my people, 
You made sure no more will suffer exaltation. None of us will be safe until we stop the cat for good. I've learned to enjoy small victories when they come. What can I do for you? I'm hoping you can help me get on Ephra's good side. If I knew how to do that, my job would be much simpler. Sometimes it seems like you two don't get along at all. And other times... He's a brilliant tactician and inspiring leader. We just disagree on what's best for our people. He believes secrecy and isolation keep us safe. What do you believe? We can't defeat the Cat alone. And neither can your initiative. I have a few questions about your culture. I'm happy to answer them. Don't take this the wrong way, but this isn't your only city, right? Not at all. Vold and Havarl both have several large population centers. Aya has numerous residential areas similar to this. Are these places open for visitors? In time, perhaps. I've noticed that you, Ephra, and Jal all speak with different accents. When the Scourge first struck, there were many Angaran worlds. They were separated for centuries. We developed divergent cultures and dialects. Ephra was born on Vold, and Jal is from Havarl. What about you? The Cat left my homeworld in ruins. Those who survived were forced to flee. We found a refuge on Aya. My family helped settle this world. Aya seems important to the Angara. Aya is paradise. This world is a gift. We created the Vassal so everyone could enjoy this place. If only for a short time. The Vassal? The time of change. Aya's resources are too limited for our entire population to live here. We each earn the privilege of spending a few years on Aya. When our time is up, we leave to make room for someone new. The cycle repeats throughout our lives. Will you have to leave? Someday. For now, Aya needs me. Your people revere the Moshai. What did she do to earn that? After the Scourge, our civilization was in ruins. Those who led the rebuilding were thinkers, experts, and inventors. The Moshai is the greatest scientific mind of our generation. She led us to a new age of technological innovation. When the Ket attacked, she studied their technology, learned their tactics. You owe your survival to her. We owe her everything, and we'll do anything to protect her. So what do you do for fun around here? The Tavitan is a popular spot for recreational activity. Right, but what do you do? Can't work all the time. Productivity is the best form of relaxation. It's also a great way to get stressed out. You sound like my brothers. All ten of them. Ten? And eight sisters. They're not allowed to bother me at work. Ten brothers and eight sisters. You have a big family. I've always thought of it as average. How many siblings do you have? A brother. Scott. What happened to the others? Our parents only had two children. Underachievers. That sounds... relaxing. <laughs> when my family gets together, the noise is like standing next to our largest waterfall. My mother says I became governor so people would have to listen to me. Is she right? Always. What's it like being responsible for a whole planet? I suspect it's like being the Pathfinder. Some days it's a burden. Most of the time, I know I'm where I should be. How did you become governor? Do your people elect leaders by popular vote? If by vote, 
You mean argue loudly until one candidate remains? Then yes. I got here because I was willing to endure and fight for the obligations that come with my office. Is there time in your busy schedule to meet someone special? Everyone is special to me, in their own way. <laughs> Not what I meant. Oh, no. That isn't a priority right now. Someday, maybe. I sense tension between your government and the Resistance. Who's actually in charge? Ephra likes giving orders, right until the actual work of running a city starts. The Resistance is good at protecting us from the Ket, but our people need more. I've learned to indulge Ephra's need for control just often enough to maintain my own. Thanks for your time. Ishare, Pathfinder. of security. Between your self and danger. Getting acquainted with our new neighbors? Sort of. All this... stuff. The Angara sure do have a rich culture and blah blah blah. You're sauced, aren't you? What's your poison? Achcha! I visited that cafe the Angara consider a bar. As for their hardest stuff, it was weird, which I like, but had almost no... <clears throat> punch. Lightweight. 
Whoa. Steady now? That stuff must have a slow absorption rate. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, Ryder. It's just... This museum reminds me of being on Haitiana during my indentured service as a student. They even have a whole section on the remnant. I didn't come to Andromeda to follow in someone else's footsteps. It didn't occur to you there'd be indigenous species here? Sentients with a rich history, leading full lives? I guess. Even so, the Angara barely have a foothold. Sure, they live among the ruins, but they haven't seen what we've already seen. Hmm. You might have a point there. Bet nobody here has ever outrun an ancient vault purification field, huh? <laughs> nope. Or spat in that Archon's ugly mug and lived to talk about it? That was nice work, by the way. Thank you. Ah, you're right. Not sure why, but ever since I packed up my apartment on the Nexus, something's crawled under my skin. But whatever it is, I promise, I'll get over it lickety-split. You're fine, PB. We all need to cut loose once in a while. That's awfully understanding of you, Ryder. You're a good... egg. Think I'll stay in your operation a little while longer. You know, the more I interact with the Angara, the more I feel for them. Especially with what we know about exaltation, I can't imagine. Believe me, I'm pissed off on their behalf. You nailed it. That's exactly how I feel. We need to make things right. Ryder. Pathfinder. Writer, you are the subject of a detailed scan by an Angara standing nearby. Maybe I should introduce myself. Hello there. I'm working. You scanned me pretty hard. That wasn't your way of saying welcome, stranger? I wanted to be discreet. Noted. What's your interest in me? You're an alien on my homeworld. Why wouldn't I be interested? You could have asked. Fine. Will you submit to a full spectrum analysis of your biology? You haven't even told me your name. Darn for it. Biological researcher. This is my home. Can't fault you for being curious. Scan away. I didn't think you'd comply. I'm full of surprises. That you are. When we face extinction, family is our final comfort. Do you understand that? I came to this galaxy with my family. I lost my father on the day I arrived. But you still carry on his legacy. He knew that in the end. Family is everything. Not only the one we have now, but the ones that follow us. What will your family look like in five generations? Ten? How many of you will there be? You're worried there'll be more of us than you. I have 23 grandchildren. I want to know what their grandchildren will inherit. Goodbye, Pathfinder. You were coming. I prepared a date pattern on our laws regarding war. 
learn them.